Mm-hmm. All right. Well, hey, everybody. It's Grim Green from GrimGreen.com back here today. Thank you so much for joining me again here on Mod Monday, the mod we're going to be talking about this week. This little guy right here. This is the MX box from VapeMX.com. Dual 18650, 150 watts, temperature control, interchangeable outer covers. It's all very interesting. There's a few quirks within it but in order to get to know this device just a little bit better what we're going to do is go up close as we freaking always do quick short up be closely time <clears throat> all right yeehaw what we have here is the mx box it's a little dual 18650 150 watt temperature control device the outside of this the exterior is all aluminum with stainless steel buttons there's your big fire button and your adjustment up down buttons the screen is on the top so it faces you when you're using it spring-loaded 510 connection now this sleeve on here actually comes off and is interchangeable with a bunch of different colors so I have the red one on right now but there's a white one and a green one in my possession as you can see they're just a uh, material they're like suede on the inside leathery on the outside and you can see from having it on the mod when you flatten it out all these wrinkles right here which honestly doesn't really matter because when you have it on the mod they all disappear little symbol little branded MX right there it's got four magnets one two three four one two three four on both sides that hold it on your mod go down here into the lower corner where it says open you put your thumbnail under there and you can just lift this off Magnets come right off underneath. It's all plastic. It's all built with plastic underneath There's a spring loaded down there and a spring loaded down there. It's clearly marked positive up negative down negative up positive down so let's say I want to swatch this out swatch swap this out for the green one all we're gonna do is put this over here and that kind of just lines up itself and it stays on there and it stays on there surprisingly surprisingly well you can't pull it off or you know get your fingers on there and kind of push it around it's all on there really secure the only real way to get it off is to go down here to this corner where it says open boop pop it open pull it off so let's get some batteries in here so both of the contacts on the bottom are spring loaded so we're going to put the negative side up on this side we're going to put the positive side up on this side and now just for fun let's take the white one and put it on there yeah it looks cool i actually really like the idea of swapping these out and having different colors and they come with a bunch of different colors but they also come in ridiculous patterns like snake skin and hello kitty and just a bunch of weird shit as well i much much prefer the straight simple colors makes it really easy to matchy matchy your mod up to your atom if you have a green drip tip you can use the green one or if you have this and you're using a white tank you can throw the white one on there these are all sold separately your MX box will come with one color and you have to buy any other ones separately so there's a nice bright big display right there I have this in temperature mode it's set to 430 degrees there's gonna show your resistance that shows your battery life we're in Fahrenheit TI mode there's gonna be your voltage and then that's gonna be your wattage now I have been running this with a titanium coil based tank in here which is why it's in temperature control mode and that has been working just fantastic but what we're gonna do is you press the button uh, you press the fire button three times one two three and that'll show you now we can go back into power mode we can exit you can get into the system you can use it in pass-through mode so it's going to be an unregulated series box they have the setting on here that is decline which eh, I don't like it's called decline and gain nope we want that off we want the gain off and we want to exit so now we're back to regular wattage mode 97 watts and whatever you leave this wattage at when you switch over to TC it's gonna keep that wattage down here so that's how you adjust your wattage when you're in temperature control mode. You have to go back to wattage mode to adjust your wattage and then go back to temp mode to adjust your temp. Everybody knows temperature control isn't really my thing. It's not really my jam. So I have one tank that I've been using with titanium to test out temperature control on temperature control mods. Now, the last thing that we're going to do up close here is take a look at this. Now, this is this little ring that comes off and you can flip it over 
and put it on again. And basically, this is kind of like an old school juice trough system. Now, once upon a time, we used to use atomizers that were the same diameter as the batteries in that, you know, they were round little things. They looked like cigarette filters. And so back in the day, you could be able to put one of those on here and then any juice that leaked out the bottom would get caught in this trough and it wouldn't go down into your mod or down into your 510 connection. This little trough thing, super, super outdated here in 2016, especially considering that 100% of the tanks and atomizers I'm gonna be using on this are 22 millimeters, and they're going to completely cover that little juice trough. So if any juice were to leak out of here, it would just go around it and go down your mod anyway. The juice trough literally now serves no purpose. I kind of wish they hadn't included it, and you can't take it off because then you end up with this little 510 protruding 510 connection right there. So 10 times out of 10, I just flip it over to make it look flat, gives it a much nice, cleaner look. Now the spring-loaded 510 connection on here has been Okay, easily 80% of the tanks and RDAs I put on here work fine, but there's a, there's exceptions to the rule. This Twisted Messes RDA base, if I screw this down on here, it does not, not sit flush uh, really at all. In fact, I can wiggle this around. It's gonna read it, it's gonna make a connection, it's gonna fire just fine. It just doesn't sit flush. You see that gap right there? that gap will just always exist. So if your tank or atomizer has a nice big long protruding 510 pin, it's not going to work on the MX box. It'll work, it's just gonna look dumb. It's gonna look like it sits not flush and it'll sit weird and crooked. It's a really weird 510 connection. It's the one downfall, in my opinion, of this mod. But that's enough about the MX box. Let's get back out to normal view and let's vape this. So yeah, these covers look cool and they feel cool. They're really thin and you can kind of, if you press along the sides, you can feel, okay, that's where one battery is, that's where the other battery is. It feels sturdy on the front and on the other side, you can kind of go, oh, okay, that's where the battery separates and that's where the housing is. If you really press into these covers, you can kind of feel what's underneath. It feels very solid in the hand and even with batteries in here, this mod is incredibly, incredibly light. It's mostly plastic. The exterior is aluminum, the buttons are stainless steel, but it's mostly plastic and it feels very, very lightweight, almost almost too lightweight. It feels almost like a toy. It doesn't feel very substantial. The performance I get from it though is very, very nice. It does 150 watts in power mode. It does obviously 150 watts in TC mode as well. I'm running titanium coils, I sub apex tank. I have it set to 440 degrees at 90 watts and the vape is nice. I think titanium with temperature control is my favorite if I have to use temperature control, if I'm forced to do it, which let's be honest, it's not my thing, it's not my jam, I don't enjoy it. Titanium gives me that really hard ramp up time and then that really fast drop off time. So it does get some nice flavor. It is accurate. I mean, I haven't got any burnt hits or dry hits or anything using this titanium. So I feel confident saying that the temperature control works just fine. I've been majorly, majorly, sure. The majority of the time I've been using this in straight up power mode with sub ohm tanks. Now, there's a lot of tanks and RDAs out there like I showed you with the Twisted Messes RDA where if they have an extra long protruding 510 center pin, which is normally very desirable on this mod, it is not 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 desirable. Your atomizer won't sit flat on here, it sometimes sits off kilter, maybe a little bit crooked here and there and it doesn't screw all the way down and that's just because the MX box spring loaded 510 connection isn't able to accommodate for that long 510 pin. Got this now with the new Phenotype Anarchist on there. Uh, it does have a little bit of a protruding 510, but it screws down there, fits on there flush. So like I said, not every RDA you're gonna have an issue with, just the ones that have an extra long protruding 510 pin. Like I said, Phenotype, the dot mod fits on here just fine. I have this back in power mode. 
0.4 ohm coil at 90 watts. It's a great vape. It's giving me plenty of power. One feature that they have in here that I don't really enjoy is the decline and the gain. And what that basically does is lets you change the beginning and end of your vape. So you can have the gain go from just power to a little bit of a ramp up, right? And you can have the decline go from just ending to a little bit of a decline like this. So your your vape when you press the button normally is just power then off. Well with the gain and the decline, you can adjust those peaks for some reason if you wanted to do that. It doesn't really appeal to me. When I press the button, I want power right away. And when I let go of the button, I want power to be done. That's how I'm accustomed to vaping for the last seven years. That's just how I like to vape. When I press the button, I don't want a ramp up. I don't want to adjust that ramp up. I just want it to fire hard right out of the gate. Additionally, at the end of my vape, at the end of my toot, I don't want it to uh, slowly kind of come down. I just want to end. I just want to take a long drag, release the button, and have it end. But that's included. If that's interesting to you, it might be. I don't know. It might be appealing to a bunch of people. It's just, just .com. I've never used this company, so I can't vouch for their credibility. But they do have it, and it is in stock. Now, are you going to need your vape budget hands? Kind of. Yeah. It's 150 bucks. 150 bucks for a mostly plastic device. Now, yeah, it's dual 18650, does 150 watts, does temperature control. It's a nice shape, fits in your hand really, really well. It has interchangeable covers. Let's say I'm bored of you, white cover. I want to go back to the green cover. I can just take my green cover, pop it on here, and now I have a green mod. Now, these are obviously sold separately, but that's a nice option to have. I personally feel like 150 bucks. that's a little pricey for this mod. If we're playing the Alien games where the aliens pull the dick move of coming down to Earth and stealing all of my vape gear for some reason, would I seek out and buy this Vape MX mod? Beh, probably not. I probably wouldn't do it. 150 bucks for a mostly plastic device, even with the addition of interchangeable covers, which is very cool. I still don't feel like that's justifying a $150 price for me, but that's just me. Might be different for you. Get out your vape budget hands, 150 bucks. I'll have links down in the description where you can check it out further if you're interested. But that's what I got for today, everybody. MX box, vapemx.com. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, yeah, right there, bro. Let's keep on vaping. That's enough.